student manager for us is such a valuable role. We really look for people that are hardworking, love the game, that love our program, you know, want to give back, want to be around it, want to help improve our guys. Drew's been a guy that's been super accountable. He's got an unbelievable personality. Our guys really connect with him. I just became almost consumed by the sport of basketball. I really wanted to get into the industry, and I thought there's no better way than try to get some hands-on experience, and the closest you can get is being a manager at the college level. I think Drew's an unbelievable example of just perseverance. Drew was uh, born in Holman, Wisconsin. Growing up, Drew played a lot of baseball and hockey. He did start skating out at first, but then eventually he ended up settling into the goalie role. Way to use your head. I was a backup goalie for most of my time in high school. Going to my senior year of high school, I, I thought I was going to be the guy in the net. October of 2020. It was just a strange feeling that I had that day. I can't quite describe it. I had a rash. It started on my hips and my armpits, and then it grew from an inch wide to, like, a foot wide in each spot, and then soon my whole body was covered in, um, it looked like freckles. Took him into the clinic and ended up having some blood work done. We weren't home more than 45 minutes, and I got a phone call saying, um, you need to come down to the hospital. Um, we, we think there's some problems. They believe that Andrew had uh, ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I've thought about this moment a long time, but um, it was the first night out of the hospital. All my family came to visit me. That, that was a hard time. I mean, I'm 17, and I, was, I thought the whole, my whole life ahead of me at the time, and it just paused. When your family lines up, and you have no clue if they're saying goodbye, or just like you can see this look in their eyes. They have no clue what's going on. He said, so if I'm going to get cancer, this is the kind I should get, right? Because it's treatable. I kept this inside a lot, but Stuart Scott, his SB speech, where he says you, you don't beat cancer by just getting rid of it. You beat it by how you live with it and um, the matter of which you go along with it. I watched that back over constantly, and I said, if this is going to take me, it's going to have one hell of a time trying to do that. Andrew was diagnosed with leukemia on October 13th, 2020. They told Drew it was going to be a 39-month uh, process to go through all the treatments. I knew it was three years, but I was just ready to just jump in on it and just do whatever I needed to do. Okay, ready? I think that Holman is a really, I think, unique community because everybody supports each other here. His friends, his family, his teammates, they nicknamed themselves Drew's Crew. I saw the shirt with Drew's Crew on it. I don't know much about how it started, but when I heard about that moment, I really, I really felt touched. Before his hair was starting to fall out, his friends organized a time when they would all shave their heads together. That gesture for my friends was something that, like, they, that really meant a lot for me. You could feel the love. You could feel the outpouring. You could feel the support that he had. And I think that that gave him the push that he needed to be like, I've got this. April 2021 um, is when the football season was pushed back to due to COVID. Right before the season started and he goes, oh, dad, I got something to tell you. He goes, I'm going to join the football team. I look at him and I said, football team, when did this all come about? Who's 
got the leg? Um, Drew has the American flag. They hatched this plan for opening night of him to do an onside kick. I was assured by the coaches that nobody was going to touch Andrew. And Andrew's like, Mom, I just need something. And so I agreed to it. I can pick the 10 guys who are out there with me. I'm like, OK, let's, and they call it Drew's crew. And I was like, OK, let's, let's do this. I remember that kick I was lining up. Um, I, I gave the, the stands this. He was praying that he could kick at 10 yards because he just didn't have the strength. I just remember just holding my hands up in the air like, we just did that and um, it was special. I was in a world of hurting for like days after. I was cramping up nonstop. Is that the most physical movement I did in months at that time? But those few days of miserable were worth every second of that. Andrew, the first week he was in the hospital being diagnosed with leukemia, he got his acceptance letter from the University of Minnesota. He said to me one day, he's like, Mom, I think I want to be a basketball manager. And I remember thinking, OK, how are we going to do this? You're still treating full time for your leukemia. You're going to school. Drew, when he was interviewing, I found out that he was going through leukemia. But he never really brought it up. He never really talked about it. It was never something that he wanted to necessarily like put on people to know and to burden them with. I had no idea about uh, him going through you know, cancer and his treatments. I didn't realize it until Ryan Livingston told me Drew's situation. It was tough to hear and it was inspiring to hear at the same time just because he showed up every day, one of the hardest workers, if not the hardest worker, while he was going through chemotherapy. Some people think I'm crazy for this. They take the needle out of me within 20 minutes, I'm on the court rebounding and stuff like that. It's just, I look forward to doing this. I, I love being here with this team. There's nothing I traded for. I think our guys' reaction to that, they see a guy every day battling everything that he's battled and still showing up. And so it's been an unbelievable example uh, for our guys about just what real toughness is. Right around Christmas time, Drew's mom reached out and said, hey, we're looking at late January, early February, where uh, we're gonna have a chance to hopefully, you know, get through this thing. And, um, is there any way that the team can be involved? And um, I was just like, 100%. Ryan came up to me and, and told me that, um, you know, Drew had this, this day that was coming up. And um, well, I told him, well, then we have a day that's coming up. And it was pretty much a no brainer. It was Friday, February 2nd at the Masonic Children's Hospital. That was my last treatment. I got all my friends here, all my family here. Like, what else could I ask for at that time? What are we doing here? <laughs> Where's that bell? We're here today because Drew is done with his leukemia treatment and is going to ring the bell. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! The moment when Andrew rang the bell, I was smiling from ear to ear because I felt just like my heart swell. <laughs> Minnesota men's basketball team, they always have a warrior belt they have for the, the player of the game. And they always take pictures with that person holding the warrior belt. And that day, Drew had it. <laughs> it was special. The team was right there. This is amazing. The belt is something I was not expecting. I saw it, I'm like, this is sweet. This, this might be the best moment of the, my whole dream is the ultimate warrior is somebody that goes through something and is able to persevere. For him, with this lengthy battle that he's had, more significant than anything that we go through in competition, and to be able to have the attitude, have the fight, have the grit, and come out on top, pretty easy call. It was special because um, I hope the team knows um, I'd do anything to 
help this team out and just to see that they were willing to do the same was special to me.